for having me. So earlier we saw an interview with Kim Kiyosaki and she was saying that for a business to be successful, you need to actually solve a problem but also give back to your community in some way. What are your thoughts about that? Oh, absolutely. Fully in agreement with this. This is actually what the essence of corporate social responsibility, CSR, is about. A lot of people think it's about being green, looking after the climate, which of course is incredibly important, but it is also about supporting your community, supporting your local network, and continuing to generate that interest and that talent within your area. A lovely example of this um, comes from Bradford University. They are really proud of this. They have huge community links because what they've noticed is a lot of the students, a lot of the young people who live in the town, they don't really want to leave Bradford. So they go to the university, they're educated there, but because they've got such good links with the businesses in the community, oh, wow. they yeah. keep the talent, they keep the brains within the city. And yeah. that's, that's fantastic. But there is a word of warning of this. It's great to support local businesses and it's wonderful if you've got a contract, you want to go somewhere local and get them to supply it. But make sure the local business has the infrastructure and has the ability and the technical tools to be able to fulfill that contract. Mm -hmm. It's all very well saying, oh, yeah, we want to build a whole new wing on this particular building. Let's go give it to a local company. But if they don't have the manpower or the ability, that's really hard. So part of that corporate social responsibility, part of that giving back to the community it's not just financial, it can be training people up, it can be nurturing them, mentoring them, and giving them the support so that they can fulfill yeah. those contracts later on. Definitely. And can you also explain the link between finances and mental health? Yes. When people have money or sometimes come into a little bit more money, they do tend to report a much greater peace of mind. They feel more confident. More money, don't they? Of course, of course. <laughs> but with that, it's wise to know what you're going to do with it because mm. it can be very easy to start doing things like gambling it or spending yeah, it on things yeah. that you don't really want to spend it on. So one piece of research has found that if you spend it on life experiences, that seems to give a positive feeling. Mm. Similarly, giving a certain amount to charity, not more than you can afford, so make sure you are comfortable yourself. Um, there also has been research showing the, the flip side in that now young people, um, they go into university with a great deal of debt yeah. and come out with that mm, burden yes. on them. And if their parents have funded them, they're again feeling, oh, I owe bank of mum and dad mm -hmm. as well now. And then there is that sense of obligation of if my parents have paid for me, do I now need to do exactly what they, they want, want me to yeah. do? Um, also, the other problem for young people today is zero hours contracts. Um, this is something which is probably too political for this, this segment, but it's something which is causing a lot of anxiety because on a zero hours contract, you turn up, you don't know whether you're going to get work. And if you don't get work, you don't get paid. Yeah. And that's really hard because if you're relying on that money, even though you're told not to rely on that money, but you, you still do don't need you? to budget so much uncertainty. For it. That's it. And then mm. if you're raising a family, if you're supporting others as well, you then end up in that situation of, well, do I max out my credit card? Then do you get into debt? When you're in debt, could you then borrow from somebody? Well, what if they're struggling too? Or what if you've already borrowed enough? Then loan sharks, the oh, proverbial yeah. loan sharks, which becomes very dangerous territory, um, really high interest rates for payday loans, those sorts of things. You end up getting that spiral of debt Mm -hmm. it, it, into that spiral of debt even worse and then it becomes a case of you get the threats of the bailiffs at your door the the depression the anxiety that that can cause is horrendous and sadly there have been more suicides related to being in debt yeah. um, and also if then debt spirals you into homelessness you no longer have an address from which you can access services from which you can have correspondence it becomes very difficult, very painful to get out of. Mm -hmm. However, um, there is a wonderful charity out there. It's called Step Change, and that one does help you manage your manage your finances. Oh, it also helps you um, get back on your feet in the way that you can manage. And it's not about borrowing from any yeah. strange sources. So it's one of those things where don't get yourself into more debt to try and make yourself feel better for being in debt. That's one important thing. Um, manage your money carefully. Yeah. It, 
to try and maybe have things like shopping lists, maybe take out money um, and then spend that rather than handing a card over. That's a lot easier yeah. for a lot of people. And a little bit of advice from my dad was never loan anyone anything that you can't afford to give them because otherwise you could ruin a friendship when it Great becomes advice. a case of you getting it all back again. Great advice. Audrey, thank you so much, my Pleasure. love, and we'll see you again soon. Yes. Thank you. So everybody, now it's time to go to Helena Shard for this week's A Helping of Happy.